Welcome back to Digital Class, and this is a discussion for booklet number seven. And now we are in C word problem. And basically, this part C word problem basically is the hardest questions that we're coming out from here. Um, yeah, however, I've actually tried to organize it into uh, four different parts, okay? Because probably the word problems involve speed uh, with two moving objects are actually basically under these four categories only, okay? And let me just quickly show you. There are four categories. The first one is, again, speed involving two moving objects. It means that there's two things that's moving. Now, either in this direction, okay? The second one, either in this direction, it can be also in this direction, and it can be either this direction, okay? So, um... I will explain one by one, no worries. The first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. So you, you can actually see that um, I've actually organized in this page. So the first one is like going to two sides, the same, and it's going to the same direction. The next one is opposite direction, but it's moving towards each other or facing each other. Okay? And the next thing, is opposite direction they are uh, going uh, they depart from the same place and go to a different direction and the next one is also depart from the same place move to a direct, different direction but because it's a circular path or actually it's a, a somehow a circle then they will pass by and meet each other again okay so you can see there are four different types of questions so it's very, very important for you to recognize which type of question is it, okay? However, in the notes, I actually tried to organize for you already. So basically, if you see question 1 to 16, there is actually belongs to the same direction, which is this one. If it's 7 to 9, it's this question. If it's 10 to 13, it's from here. 14 to 15 is here, okay? Uh, the reason that I'm having giving you this at first it's because I need you to recognize the pattern of the question so that when you do in exam, you know how to recognize. Now, let me first discuss this. Same direction, same direction, okay? Only one same direction. The rest is different, opposite direction. Now, for this question, this type of question is basically there's two moving objects and the question or the pattern of the question usually is one is the part earlier one is depart late and however the one depart late for sure will be late right however the speed of the one depart late will move faster than the one earlier that's why first thing they are able to cut up the distance again y is travel earlier but slower x is later but faster that's why at some point of time they are able to catch up Okay, catch up. For example, here, they're able to catch up. And the very important point is that when X are able to catch up for Y, the point that they catch up, the distance is actually the same. No matter the time is different or the speed is different, but the distance is the same. Okay, let me remove this. Example, they caught up here. Then again, the distance here to here is the same. And one more, another way or another type of question that we're asking is one actually reached the destination, example, this is the destination earlier. Okay. So this is the type of question. And B, B is opposite direction but facing each other. Now, these are a question basically they are depart from a different place but they are moving toward each other. One with the faster speed, next one with the slower speed. But time, usually, they start at the same time, okay? And the common thing to take note with this type of question is, usually, they will, at some point, because they travel to each other, at some point, actually pass by each other. Okay, example, this point is the point they pass by each other. And the very important point to take note is that when they pass by each other at this point of time, because they travel at the same time, the time is the same. Of course, the speed can be different, the distance can be different, but the time is the same. 
And another thing to take note is that the total distance they travel, because they meet at this point, right? Example, this point, this point, means that the diff the distance that they travel is actually the total distance of the track. Okay, that's why this is the thing you need to take note. Okay. Don't worry, we'll be discussing some of the questions here, then you'll get the concept. Now, another concept. Opposite direction. Opposite direction. Again, they depart from the same place but move towards different direction. Okay. Again, the speed is one fast, one slow. And usually they'll start at the same time. And the distance apart means that they travel, it'll be the distance apart. Now, a very interesting for this question is that the distance apart, again, is the same, the total distance both of them travel, just like the previous one. However, interesting point here, the total distance divided by the time, again, the total distance that they travel, divided by the time, the time, is actually the sum of two speed. Again, you know that distance is equal to, uh, no, speed is equal to distance divided by time. However, in this case, the speed going to that side, the speed going to this side actually result in a distance. That's why, a very important point, the total distance, oops, the total distance divided by the time is actually the sum of two speed. The speed of here, the speed of here. Okay, no worries, we will do the question and you will notice that. The next one, opposite direction, again, they are moving apart from each other, but at the same time, they will meet each other again. It's the same thing, one will be fast, one will be slower, it will start at the same time, it's something that's similar. And again, the same thing, when they pass by each other, the time that they pass by each other is the same. And again, the total distance that they travel, example, they meet at here, this point of time. And the distance here, and the distance here, that they travel, add up together, is basically the total distance of the whole trip. However, uh, I think question 15, or question 14 or 15, one of the question actually is slightly tricky in the sense that they do not meet each other than the stop. The question didn't tell this, but the question tells something like this. They travel eight and they pass by each other for how many, how many meters or how many, how many km. Okay. Anyway, do not worry because I'm giving you the whole picture at the same time. That's why you might be confused. But when we do the question, you will notice how it actually works. So thank you and see you. Bye bye.